Hi friends, it's Suzanne here. Thanks for joining me for another Monday Makes video on my blog and YouTube channel. To create my card, I'm going to be using the Weather Together stamp set as well as the Umbrella Weather Framelit dies. I'm using Stays On Ink and my piercing mat to stamp these images. I just wanted to make mention that you can use Stays On Ink with photopolymer. You just can't use Stays On Cleaner off of your photopolymer so they will stain but if that doesn't bother you like it doesn't bother me I don't care so I'm going ahead and stamping with it and the reason being is because I'm using Strathmore Bristol Smooth Card and it takes a while to dry and I'm impatient so I wanted the black lines to dry so that I could go in with my um, wink of Stella that has been emptied and at water added to the barrel so it's sort of like a paintbrush now with just a touch of glimmer and I'm using it as a paintbrush so I wanted the colors to move and you can see I'm going right over those black lines so that's the reason why I chose stays on ink I have a lot of the Strathmore smooth Bristol cardstock so why not use it it's for pen and ink and it's a lovely paper if you've not tried it yet you might want to um, i find it in my art store so i'm using a whole bunch of uh, markers there is um, daffodil delight and then there was smoky slate and chocolate chip so yeah there's a whole bunch there's going to be a list in the description bar below so just check it on out if you're wanting so I ran that through the big shot and now on my uh, on another piece of card uh, this is just whispers white thick I am using the layering square framelits and you can see I cut the largest um, scallop one there and <laughs> then I had to cut it twice to make a, a rectangle so it sort of locks into place so it was easy to do that so I've put uh, fast fuse on the back and then on goes my acetate sheet. I'm folding my cardstock and I'm going to be applying the background to this card. And if you wanted to see how I made that, check out my Wonderwork Wednesday video from last week and it'll all explain that. So I'm using these foam strips from Stampin' Up. They are fantastic for shaker cards and this is a shaker card we're making today. Just wanna remind you that those little extra bits um, really do help when you're putting them in the corners not just you know a nice rectangle around the um, opening but you know on the edges as well so they don't get crumpled so I'm using a bit of Tombow here in my tweezers and I ha am adhering the uh, handle for the umbrella down straight in the middle I have dimensionals around that umbrella too and I tried to make sure that nothing could kind of get caught underneath the umbrella as well so once that has been adhered, I'm using my archival black ink over top of this. It was Arches watercolor that um, the background is on. So it's a little bumpy. So I need a good crisp dark black ink for the raindrops. Now I'm using some droplets from Studio Katia. Katia if you want to be Russian about it. It's a, a lovely Canadian company here in our near Edmonton, if I'm correct. She's lovely and she makes these really cool droplety things and she's Canadian. You got to check her out. She's got a lot of sequins and stuff. Anyway, um, so I'm adhering uh, another umbrella inside. You thought probably I was crazy by making so many umbrellas, but I did want one on the inside as well. Um, just because I'm on a kick right now where I need to do the inside of my cards. So um, I've used my embossing buddy and now I'm stamping with Versamark ink and the sentiment wishing you brighter days is being uh, sprinkled with white embossing powder and heat embossed which I skipped to keep the video shorter. I'm adhering it on a little bit of um, vellum and there goes my glue dots and as soon as I can find a place for that to live I will be applying 
the in color enamel shapes i believe i chose uh, dapper denim and just to hide the glue dots and here's my shaker card thanks so much for joining me i'll catch you next time bye Hey, thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. On the screen are two more videos for inspiration. To see a picture gallery of all my projects, stop by my blog. Thanks again for watching.